Hey YouTube, it's Rain Poppy and it's Monday, April 27th and it has been a very long, long, long day. I was up at 5.30, had a focus group to go to for four hours, then lunched with a friend, hit the dollar store where I found some things that I want to go back and get when I have some money and finally came home and it's currently about 82 degrees, well, it was about 82 degrees at the high today here in Portland. And, um, so those of y'all who actually, who know me in real life, um, know that I hate heat. Like, I run hot and I moved, <laughs> I moved to Portland for the rain and the cold. So, um, it was, <laughs> I came home and immediately put shorts and a tank top on because I said, <laughs> fuck it, I am dying. Um, so yeah. So um, today I wanted to just um, do kind of a, a video response to what some people have been talking about as far as, um, you know, wants and needs um, as far as tools go uh, in the craft. Um, because I have an interesting take on it, which I'll explain. Um, first of all, I don't think you need we don't need all the tools um they might be nice to have but you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money I mean just like you don't need to go out and spend a lot of money if you want to look cute you just go to Ross buy some three dollar shirts they're cute call it good oh, or make your own if you know how <laughs> um just like if you want to learn to knit you're not you know I mean most most people aren't going to go out and buy the most expensive yarn and needles and they're going to go out and they're going to buy the red heart and they're going to buy the the boy needles or whatever <laughs> and um, call it good. So you don't need them. Like, you're not going to be less of a witch if you don't have an athame or if you don't have a wand. Um, I, I started out with nothing but a couple of candles and that was good for me. Um, I acquired a bunch of tools. And then I moved so much that, and it's heartbreaking because one of my boxes did not follow me everywhere. And it was the box with my witchy tools and herbs in it. So uh, for the longest time, you know, I have not really had, I haven't even had an altar. Um, I was living, if you can hear that, um, we have a basketball hoop in our building complex. And I think some people don't know how to play. So it sounds like they're throwing bricks. Anyway, uh, back to it. So, you know, I didn't have an altar. I didn't have tools. I just kind of sat on my bed and I meditated. Or I ca if I wanted to cast a circle, I'd cast a circle with my fingers. Um, my finger, my projective hand. I would get a rock for earth and... Um, you know, a candle for fire and a bowl of water and a, you know, and, a, and uh, an incense from the dollar store. Call it good. Um, if I wanted all, if I wanted to get a little fancy. And that was it. And I mean, I have done some amazing rituals with those things or, le or less. And even to this day, I don't really have an altar. I live in a very small apartment. Um, well, it's a studio apartment, and I live with a roommate, and, he, you know, he doesn't mind that if I have an altar or anything, but there's just no room. Like, the only place I could possibly put one is on my plastic chest of drawers, and I don't recommend that with candles. <laughs> so, you know, once I get a actual real, real grown-up dresser, I'm going to put a little altar up. So, you know... For example, when I, I recently did a working, you know, to help me along in getting a, a particular job that I wanted, um, I had a random white candle. I dyed it green with food dye. And I just focused my intent on that candle. I burnt that candle and meditated with it. And, um, I got offered the job. 
So that was cool. I didn't need a lot of fancy stuff. And sure, you know, I mean, it would be nice, but you don't need it. But if you really want, if you really want to build an altar and you really want tools, you don't, you also don't have to go to a with a, little, a witch shop. It's always nice to support your local witches, but you know, if you can't afford that or you don't have that in your area, the Dollar Tree um, is an amazing place to find um, would you like just random witchiness okay I mean they have candles they have incense sometimes um, if you can't you know buy herbs or whatever you can always look in the seasoning section and see I mean I bought a thing of basil um, they've had sage yeah it's not fresh from my garden it's not you know picked and dried by me um, but it will do and it has to do with the in your intent your inner you know the energy that you bring you know and and whatnot so um what else did I see there I was actually just there today um they had these little bottles, well, they're probably about the size of a soda bottle and they had a cork in them. So they'd be great if you wanted to make, you know, for example, uh, the Lady Grave Dancer had a, a tutorial video about making fire water. You could use the bottle for that. Or you could use the bottle to make full moon, you know, um, blessed water for your rituals, whatever. Um... You know, if you are in a space or you're younger um, and you don't want to draw attention, you know, hey, Dollar Tree had battery operated candles, okay? Like, that did not, they don't put out fire, but they are in colors like red and green and white. Um, so, there you go. Um, or they'll have the white jar candles. Um, even if they're the ones like the Jesus candles, you can decorate those yourself you know so there are options um i would recommend um checking out um spin pixie's videos she had some good ideas about picking things just out of nature or just kind of while you're out and about you know to do your magic or do your rituals with um you can i mean honestly you can do them with you can do just as much with nothing at all as you can with like the cadillac of pagan altars it's like i said it's your energy your intent what you put into it um so yeah, um, I guess that's all I have to say right now. I just basically wanted to say that I agree and give a few different ideas on what you could do, you know, if you don't have altar space. Um, the other thing is look at thrift stores and yard sales for wooden cigar boxes because you can decorate those, like decoupage on them, and glue little things to the inside of the lid, and you can make yourself a portable little altar that way. Um, throw a couple tea lights in there, a little candle for the, you know, fire, you know, all those little, uh, little things, um, you know, even a little quartz crystal for a wand or what, what, whatever. Um, if you have like a little, um, figurine or if you make yourself a little clay piece that represents the goddess or it, just about anything you could put in there and you've got a portable altar that you can stick in your you know in your sock drawer um or your or, you know on your bookshelf somewhere when you're not using it um or you can you know and you could take it with you like if you go on vacation or something so that's definitely an option as well so now <laughs> i think that's it and i want to thank you Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed, everybody who has commented and welcomed me to the uh, YouTube community. I really appreciate it. Um, 
I honestly, I was a little nervous to get on here and babble away, but I'm already feeling comfortable <laughs> and uh, with all the, with all the happy yayness welcomes <laughs> from all of you fabulous witchy folks, I, I'm, I, I'll, I'll be doing this for a while. Um, so until next time, y'all, I will, uh, talk at you later. Uh, blessed be. Bye.